Finally on today's show, let's take a look into Mrs. Cindy Jones' fourth grade PE class at Clover Hill Elementary. Mrs. Jones has developed an impressive program that teaches every student in the school not only reading, writing, and arithmetic, but the fundamentals of engineering and physics. And they have a blast while doing it. Cindy Jones is the physical education instructor at Clover Hill Elementary School. Last year on a whim, she took a children's engineering class offered by the county. The fact that Cindy was the only PE teacher to ever take the class didn't hold her back. She came away from the experience with an imagination full of ideas on how to incorporate not only engineering, but geography, earth science, and math into her PE classes. She developed a curriculum that closely complements the SOLs for each grade level from kindergarten to fifth grade. And the kids, parents, and other teachers love it. Our PE teacher, Mrs. Jones, she set up like activities for us to do for electricity, magnets, sim simple machines, and, and it's a lot of fun. Soon after implementing the program, Cindy's principal, Amy Bosher, also suggested she apply for the MCD Award for Initiative and Innovation in Educational Practices, which comes with the $3,500 cash prize. Cindy won the award. When I finished the Children's Engineering Project, uh, my principal, Amy Bosher, saw the, my project and she said, Cindy, this is very innovative and so why don't, I would like for you to, to apply for the MCD award. And so um, I said, okay, so sure. So they, they give out um, money that you can in, implement these programs. So I um, applied for it and it took a, about a, you know, for a while to, to announce it. They announced it on a Wednesday and then they uh, took teacher votes for Teacher of the Year the next day. It was just good timing. <laughs> A two-story map of the world on the gym wall gets the kids physically involved in geography. Colorful gears, which teach engineering principles, are also designed to come apart and are beautifully painted to illustrate life science lessons. It was a community effort, really. I, I had the idea, but I had tremendous networking and, I mean, resources to pull from. Illustrated man and woman murals teach students about their bones, muscles, and organs and an indoor treehouse built by staff and community volunteer David Dobbs include levers, pulley systems, electricity, and inclines to teach math and science principles and get the kids moving at the same time. Cindy also designed several physical exercises that incorporate the simple machine principles she learned in the children's engineering class. Students hoist themselves into swings by means of pulley systems and move each other around with gears or a lever and fulcrum. They make seesaws, play wedge tag, and even play a musical chair type game that utilizes closed and open circuit electricity. The emphasis is on moving and learning at the same time. Cindy has geared exercises to the SOL requirements for each grade level which reinforces the lessons learned in class and gives students experience with subjects they'll be covering in later grades. The reaction of the students and teachers has been enthusiastic and the kids really respond to Cindy's kinesthetic approach to teaching. I like the map because you get to throw stuff at it. <laughs> the feedback from the faculty has been overwhelming really. They've been awesome. They, they said, I think this is great and you know they, they love that it's a backup for what they're teaching so it's just another um, I'm just reinforcing what the classroom teachers are doing. But the person who gets the biggest thrill from the program may be Cindy herself. I think the most exciting part for me was to see something that I had designed that got squeals and, you know, hollers and just, just really, you know, especially, you know, with the pulleys, they always squeal and the, the lights and the gears and the map and everything, they just, just, there's so much excitement. 